Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm your friend Shinobi, and today I'm gonna talk about iOS 17, specifically on the iPhone 12 Pro. Why? Because I installed it. This time I went with the public beta, and yeah, here are the top five features that you can get on the iPhone 12 Pro, and also how is the performance and battery life on iOS 17. So if you're interested in this particular topic, then make sure to stick till the end. There might be some noises because it's like vehicles don't just stop coming, and yeah. With that said, let's get into the video. Now, one of the coolest features that Apple has introduced with iOS 17 is name drop. So right now you can use the NFC chips on your iPhone to just tap and exchange contact cards. And also it was for like airdrop, a new animation is there. But yes, mainly name drop is for contact cards. So this feature is also attached to another feature, which is also new that is called as contact cards. And you can create your own contact card with your custom image, text and all that. And you can create it for any of your contacts that you would like. And whenever they call you, you will see that particular customized contact card for them. And if you both have an iPhone, you can just tap the iPhones together, as you can see in this particular video and yeah you can share your contact cards with them which is pretty cool and the animation is super slick and it looks really nice and yeah the contact cards are also quite customizable and they look really cool so these are the first two features which are new in iOS 17 and you get them on the 12 pro as well now after this there is a new feature called as standby mode so when you're charging your phone like in MagSafe or with wired and your phone is in landscape mode say on a stand so you will get a uh, like digital clock and stuff on your screen which will uh, like keep uh, changing and there are a bunch of different type of standby mode like widgets which you can choose between and you can set whatever you want so this basically works as a nightstand for your iphone so you can just put it on charge in landscape mode and it will work as a nightstand and yeah, the screen will like get brighter or dimmer depending on the uh, lighting situation in your uh, environment. So that's pretty cool and it looks really nice. And yeah, it is a very good feature that Apple has introduced. I'm not sure about the long term effects of this on the battery or on the display, but right now it looks really cool. And yes, uh, the standby mode is available on the iPhone 12 Pro. Now, the next big thing <laughs> you should say is like now you can interact with the widgets on your home screen so when you put a widget now there are options to interact with the widget instead of directly opening the app so you can uh, do things like take off your uh, checklist or some other things like play pause music or stuff right from the widgets which is pretty cool and this has been added and this is available on the 12 pro as well now there's a new ui in uh, imessage the new share ui which looks kind of goofy but yeah, you do get access to a new menu uh, from where like you can access stickers and stuff. And now you can make stickers like your own stickers simply by uh, just holding on any photo and the cutout thing, which was introduced, I think two uh, versions back. The cutout thing can uh, now be converted to stickers. You can create uh, like stickers with different effects and stuff. And they look really cool. They work with the gyroscope and uh, uh, the proximity sensor on your phone to give different effects which is pretty cool and it's a silly thing but yeah if you use iMessage this can be a pretty cool thing for you now lastly one of the most like hidden features on iOS 17 is personal voice so in order to do that you have to go into the accessibility settings and then scroll down and you'll get a, a menu called as personal voice tap on it then you have to set your personal voice it will give you around 150 prompts which you have to read out each one of them and after that you have to put your phone on charge i don't know for how long because mine has been like processing for the last three or four days so you have to put your phone on charge and keep it locked in order for the like personal voice to get processed so uh, and it is supposed to like mimic your own voice and you can uh, create different voice notes and stuff and record uh, voice recordings you can just type stuff up and the uh, AI will uh, like read it out in your voice supposedly but yeah it seems like a pretty cool feature
this personal voice thing is pretty cool in my frank opinion you should give it a try on iOS 17 and yeah that's pretty much it uh, for the top 5 features of iOS 17 on the iPhone 12 Pro now in terms of the performance uh, the performance has been great i haven't seen any hiccups or anything but yeah there are a lot of bugs available like widgets just randomly uh, don't show up on the lock screen the keyboard is very finicky it uh, like taps like registers different keys now and auto correct works very weirdly even though i have turned it off and many more things like this small small bugs are there um, so yeah these needs to be fixed obviously it's a beta version so there will be bugs but yeah if they can fix it gradually with each beta update then it will be pretty good and there shouldn't be any bugs like these in the official version so performance has been pretty good battery life is also decent i haven't seen any difference between the battery life on iOS 16 and 17 beta so battery life is pretty good i would say if like for the beta but yeah the phone does get warm up really quickly so yeah that's one thing and yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you like it then don't forget to hit the like button and definitely subscribe to the channel if you are new here so with that said i'm your friend chinobi and i'm signing out peace